Pirates fight for all Southwestern, for I'm a modern deer. Pirates fight for all Southwestern, for victory is near. To Southwestern will be loyal to the sun from from the sky. And remember to the end that a fight will never die. Pirates fight. We got five minutes till senior day. Play with emotion, not emotionally. Do your job, do your job. Don't worry about things that are not under your control. Let's put that preparation to work. I love our energy today. Let's bring it to these guys. It's uh, bucks, brotherhood, urgency, consistency, and sacrificing. I was part of, this. so we had an original one, uh, and then I was part of the group uh, two last year that uh, we, we re-looked at it and we recreated it about the new future of the Southwestern Pirates. So the Southwestern man is Bucks. Brotherhood, urgency, uh, consistency, and sacrifice. And it's basically just the motto of how we're supposed to carry ourselves, our mentality that we're supposed to have, uh, training week to week. Um, and it's, it starts out with brotherhood because that's the foundation of it all. Everybody is supposed to live by those four virtues and we're supposed to hold each other accountable and, and that's what drives our team. If we can do those four things and translate that to on and off the field, we'll be a successful program. Job's still not finished. We got three quarters to play. It ain't over. I was just one. We got a lot more coming. Let's go. Just the next play. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Be where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be doing it. So that's just the expectation on and off the field. Be where you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing it, where you're supposed to be doing it. So. That's really the biggest thing, you know, if you're supposed to be in class, be in class. If you're supposed to be at practice, be at practice. You're supposed to be lifting, go lift. Yeah, that's really the biggest thing, being a Southwestern man. Well, our team roles be where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that's the number one expectation for us um, on football and off the field as well. Um, it's, it's great in life as well. Um, because, I mean, you have to be where you have to be doing what you're supposed to be doing at all times in order to keep growing and just to be the best person you can possibly be. Expectations on the field, I say, is, you know, stay locked in, stay focused, especially when we're, like, around the football field, even in meetings and stuff, you know, getting everybody to stay, stay focused. And off the field, I'd say, uh, it's just, it's good. It's like a brotherhood. Um, we all like come to each other for things. So it's not just football, I say it's like a brotherhood and a community over here, like outside of football, it's all fun. We expect a lot on the field. Like we expect you to show up to your lifts on time, show up to meetings, be committed and there for your brothers and everything like that. But like, we also expect you to just be like good role models, like in the community. Like if someone sees you doing something good, they should be like, oh, he's on the football team. Like that makes sense. One of the things that really uh, you learn at becoming a, a student athlete in college is time management. And I think some people have learned that the hard way, some people learned it the easy way. Uh, just getting your schoolwork done. I mean, you have time for everything. Uh, Coach Austin tells us about the 888 rule. It's eight hours of sleep, eight hours of fun, and eight hours of school. So your eight hours of school, whether or not you're in class for those full eight hours, sit down, finish your homework for the day, get it done early, do a couple extra hours of studying, do, put in your eight hours throughout the day of your school, and then eight hours of sleep. It's essential for an athlete to uh, get as much sleep as possible. It's great for your body, it's great for recovery, and it's great for growth. And then the extra eight hours is your fun time. So football comes out of that. And we spend probably three, at maximum four hours a day in here when that includes you know, an hour of lifting in the morning and then three hours of practice in the evening on, a, on some two or three days a week. So you've still got four or five hours a day for your social life, video games, whatever, golf, whatever you feel like is, uh, whatever your outlet is. At the end of every practice, Coach Austin, like sometimes I hear ask certain people that question. I have been waiting to be picked to answer this question. You know, my reason is love football. My answer 
is, I mean, the most. Football, I would say, I'm one of the people who football saved my life. In the way of it gave me something to really look forward to, you know. Football, I love it. When I when I found it, I could. There's a sport where you can hit people between the whistle and not get in trouble for it. That's why I originally started playing football. You know, I had a lot of family members in my family that also played that lead me towards the game when I first started. But then, as you get older and as you develop more, football it teaches you how to be a man in life. You know what I'm saying? You get those man-like qualities out of the game of football, of, you know, being self-disciplined, being consistent, you know, doing all of those things, being urgent, and I think that's amazing, you know, to get that out of the game of football to where it becomes deeper than football. Football becomes more than just a game. It becomes a life. So I would say I'm definitely one of those people where it's football is life. It's always been a stage, like, it's been a stage that I've loved to be a part of for this is my 11th season, and the physicality of it, and the satisfaction of going home with a win on Saturday after fighting and hurting all week long and putting, all that, all, putting in all that effort to go out there on Saturday and establish dominance and, win, and beat the guy across from you and to come home with a win is always, is always fun. And I just don't think there's, I don't think there's a more beautiful game to watch either. I've always loved the game of football. It's something me and my dad always bonded over. Uh, you know, this is uh, his dream to play college ball, and I get to I get to live it for him. Uh, and so, you know, we we connect on that, and I, I've just loved the sport ever since. So, you know, whenever they told me I could come back for a fifth year, I was immediately on it. I jumped on it the second I found out I could. Grew up in a Polish household, so we just did. I knew nothing about football. We just did soccer, and um, I did band and taekwondo throughout high school, and then just sophomore year playing in band. I just, you know, I was playing and from the stands looking at it, I thought it was kind of cool. So I just learned more about it and joined the team and it just kind of, it became this whole like, it just encompasses like everything, just like love for home, for family. Um, I mean, it just, I don't know, it became a lot more than just uh, putting some pads on and running around. It's hard to put into words, really.